Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. In today's video, we're going to be working on this on the Black Civic. And we did get some new parts that came in. If you guys watched the previous video, I did mention that I got a new fender and other bits and pieces for it. And also guys, we hit 200 subscribers. I cannot believe it. Thank you guys so much. I am so thankful. Just a couple months ago, about six months ago, we hit 100 and we're finally hitting 200 in August 16th. It is just unbelievable. And I just want to give you guys so much praise for it because it is really an achievement for me. The next milestone will be 300 and then the next one and the next one. So yeah guys, just stay tuned and we're going to get into today's video. I just found it funny that every time I make a video about the Black Civic, I reach a milestone. So that is a sign. If you guys want more Civic content, hit that subscribe and let's get to 300. If your Civic is still put together, unlike mine, you'll need to loosen all these 10mm bolts, turn signals, and the bumper. Ours basically came like this, so don't ask any questions, we'll be replacing it with a new fresh out of, out of the box fender. This Civic was in a fender bender by the previous owner, so this white bracket was replaced because the old one was dented. The new white one is from a sedan, which doesn't line up with the coupe fender holes. And just an FYI, sedan front ends have a minor difference compared to the coupe and hatch. Most holes won't line up. When installing the turn signal lights, these two pins have to line up to the fender holes. Then this screw hole will line up to this other hole which will secure the turn signals to the headlight. So like I said earlier, a lot of the driver's side parts are from a sedan because that's all I had at the time. So most of the smaller components like the lights don't line up properly and I struggled for a while when I remembered some of the components were from a sedan. Due to many of the components not aligning, I had to loosen many of the brackets, which then allowed for me to adjust and forcefully fit the turn signals. And don't worry, I will be taking care of that sometime soon.
as you guys can see here we have everything bolted down this brand new fender looks super clean and after this we're gonna begin installing the new bumper we got for the car and we're gonna finish off by installing this little plastic trim Just five 10 millimeter bolts up here to secure the top portion of the bumper. For the driver's side and passenger side, I do not have the original hardware to secure the bumper to the fender, so I found some nuts and bolts in my stockpile of parts and used this. Next we're going to remove the hood by removing the hood itself then giving us access to the hood hinges and all of the bolts are 10 millimeters. Alright guys, that pretty much completes this video after getting everything installed. The Civic looks a million times better. We're getting closer to getting this thing looking good, and sometime soon I plan to throw on my buddy club wheels. But before we do that, I want to restore them, we'll be painting them, just throwing that out there. But with that being said, that wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.